Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. Today we are going to see NS 2.35 installation in Ubuntu 24.04. So first let us check with this command. So I am using a 24.04 operating system LTS. LTS means long term support which I have a support till 2029. So as usual first we will start sudo apt update where it will try to update all the packages which is available in the aptitude manager. So once it is done, uh, download some of the packages using this command what I have given. I have just given in the documentation below. So you can uh, download that and you can copy and paste it. So once this is done, so this may take some time to get installed. So once the installation is over, next we have to install GCC 4.8 and G++ 4.8. So further what we have to do is, so since uh, this NS2 was from 2011, it's very old and now it is 2024. So there are aptitude package manager, the compilers have changed a lot. So we have to go for a backward compatibility. So in that case, we need to go for a Bionic edition. Bionic is nothing but Ubuntu 18.04. So where we have GCC 4.8 compiler and G++ 4.8 compiler were present in 18.04, which we have to make it available in this operating system so that's why we have to make a edit in this as per the format what i'm just doing it here so first type equal to deb we have to use then the url we need to copy the url so noble is the version for 024.04 bionic is nothing for 18.04 so I am using this 18.04, first I copy the URL and then in the URIs I just paste it here. Then I will just change the main restricted main and universe. So both, both these things I just maintain the components and the instead of a noble security I am just using bionic. So. So remove the snowball and then check it to bionic updates. In there no security, it's bionic updates. Then space, you have to use bionic. Space, bionic. You have to use this thing. So once bionic and binding updates is there, then again we have to use sudo apt update. So now I am just again coming back and give sudo apt update. So once the update package is done, then uh, we are ready with the prerequisite. That means whatever the developmental library is, whatever is there, we have installed. So that's what it means. So once this package manager is done, then we need to try this out. Yes, now you can see GCC 4.8 and G++ 4.8. So this is working fine and that will be taking some time to get downloaded. Once it is downloaded, then we have to install a uh, download NS 2.35. Now let us go into the browser to download the NS 2.35. Yes, now download NS 2.35 from the website. You just go on Google search it and then you can able to try that. Open the browser, search NS 2 and you will get the first link. Download that link. all at once then click it and you can see it is 2011 after that there was no further release on ns2 so people prefer to use ns3 okay so now it is being downloaded 
now once it is downloaded go to the folder where it got downloaded so it was downloaded in the download folder so there you can right click uh, copy this and then bring it to the home folder as i shown here bring it to the home folder and paste it so once it is done right click and click extract you can see there's an option called as extract so once it is extracted it will create another folder called as ns all in one 2.35 so this is our main folder where we can able to do all our experimentations now this is been unzipping now or extracting now once it is extracted now we have to come back and do some changes since uh, all these packages yeah from here we can download so now what happens is since ns2 is too old since it was launched the pre last version in 2011 hence it will work on the gcc and g++ version of 4.8 so we need to change the default gcc to gcc hyphen 4.8 and g++ to g++ hyphen 4.8 now this is what we are supposed to do now this is what we are going to do so here are the files that need to be changed or modified now there are four files here so an add cc add to be replaced with gcc and the cpp should be replaced with this so first thing is let me go with ns 2.35 where we have a make file dot in so there are four locations we need to change this make file dot in can see here cc is there so this add cc at is changed to cgcc hyphen 4.8 and similarly cpp is changed to g++ hyphen 4.8 now save this file and close this now that is first file is done second file is in otcl make file dot input so we have to have that file otcl so again go back uh, otcl is the folder and there we have a make file dot input now i am opening with my my own editor where i can see the bigger font gedit now you can see this is the location now you can see this cc and replace it with gcc hyphen 4.8 and search for gpp uh, cpp or cxx okay which is not there so we can leave it so this file also saved and then closed now third file is we have to go back nam 1.15 make file dot in so we have to change the network animation that's what we call as a nam nam 1.15 and where we have the make file so you can type the first few letters m a k e yeah dot in i click open with and gedit and there also you can go and check it cc yeah we can see two locations gcc hyphen 4.8 and g++ hyphen 4.8 next thing is s graph s graph actually it won't work but anyway we'll do the changes but we have to separately compile it you can check other video of mine to install xgraph yeah there is only one cc over there this is for 4.8 and cpp also there G++ hyphen 
so now all the changes were made now there is one more file we need to modify so which was there because of a bug here so the name of the file is uh, ns2.35 link state ls.h where uh, line number 137 we have to change one small function from uh, normal function to object oriented function this dot ls so that alone we have to do it so you can see link state and right uh, ls right click open with editor window you can see line number 137 when you go and here uh, the erase function is there this converted to this dot erase that's all because this uh, because of this there might be a error when you install this so to avoid any error i am just giving this method so once it is done you just save the file and now that's it so we have made all the changes and here uh, actually in the youtube uh, description window the greater than symbol and the less than symbol it won't be displaying uh, even if it is there uh, youtube asks us to remove that's why this this dot erase won't be visible to you that's why i'm just showing directly in the video you can see that now run the installation the installation might take some time based on your uh, ram and uh, other uh, system or uh, specification so now open a new fresh terminal and uh, since we have already installed ns all in one in uh, home folder so you can use cd in space ns hyphen all in one hyphen 2.35 then click uh, then uh, put this command dot slash install once it is done uh, it will be installing freshly after the installation is over you may get some uh, path and uh, path environments if you get the path environment uh, then it indicates that uh, your installation is perfectly fine okay now i'm just opening it up now so cdns all in one 2.35 then dot slash install so once you do that it will be going on so i just uh, stopped the video in between and now uh, this is how the way you get the screen so this indicates that your ns3 ns2.35 is installed successfully now we need to set some path in information into a file called as dot bash rc which is there in the home folder now that file we need to edit so this is the hidden file so you cannot be able to see the hidden file so but you can able to use the open the file through the terminal so that's what i am just uh, doing it now you can see just first copy this path this path so you can see my home is da slash home slash pradeep kumar so in your case your home might be in a different uh, name so maybe you can replace it if you install everything in the home folder you can replace it so that uh, you can able to do but in my case it is pradeep kumar now you can see in the first line itself you can put uh, export path equal to pathh is upper case letter equal to dollar path dollar path is a variable because the path may be containing some other uh, system level path also that also will be included that's why we have a dollar path there then export ld underscore library underscore path equal to now you just go to the installation there don't close this window till you complete this process now you can see this uh, two path you just copy after copying both the path you can use that actually the file field separator is a colon it is not a comma so you have to replace it with the colon and uh, remove any unwanted blank spaces there so in the path information you should not have any blank spaces so just remove it so once it is done now to make this path effective you have to source it source it means you execute the path temporarily inside a terminal or in case if you want to make it permanent you just restart your system and then it will be done or else directly you can check it using the source command source space dot bash rc so dot bash rc is a file it doesn't have a name it has only an extension dot bash rc you can directly uh, open it using gedit slash home slash pradeep kumar slash dot bash rc so this way you can able to open the file if you simply use it uh, open uh, bash rc file it will be empty file so the empty file might be wrong because many times i get a comments uh, from the uh, subscribers and asking for i am getting a blank uh, screen or a blank page so it is a dot bash rc file yeah, that's what here i have given us the field separator is a colon and not a comma there should not have any blank spaces 
between the parts. So now we have to check whether our is installed successfully or not. Now there are uh, two commands ns and nam. So ns uh, if it is successful you will get a percentage symbol which indicates ns is installed successfully. If for the nam it will open a new window. Nam is a network animation you will get open a new animation window. So that way you can able to open a nam window. Okay, so now you can see I am using source dot bash rc. Okay, so now you can see ns. You will get a percentage symbol indicates that the installation is successful. Similarly, when I put nam, a window gets pop up. So this indicates that network animation is also working fine. Now you can able to run some examples, which is um, coming by default in ns 2.35, where you can verify your network is working or not. So NS2 is installed successfully. So thanks for watching my video. So it works well. And uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video to your friends, to your research students, or your scholars or other university students. Thank you. Thank you very much.